Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Care. Today's topic of discussion is uh, MCQ and the question is in front of you. I request everyone to attempt this question in the comment box. Don't worry, after some time you will have the right answer with explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Now the question is which of the below mentioned nitrogen atom, I mean this 1, 2, 3, 4, has maximum protonation tendency or basicity? So this is actually a question of basicity, which one undergo protonation most efficiently in this molecule. Now whenever the question basicity asks, then you need to check the stability of conjugate acid or CA. What does it mean by conjugate acid? You can say protonated form. Okay, so this is a question about protonated form. So which nitrogen will undergo protonation most easily? Now before going to that protonation, you need to know little bit about the lone pairs because this lone pair of nitrogen will participate in protonation. By the way, lone pair 1. This is a student in sp2 hybridized orbital and not in conjugation with this benzene rings electron delocalization. Same thing is for this one sp2. Now if you look at this one, it is also in sp2 hybridization and not in conjugation with the benzene ring. If you look at here, this lone pair is student, it is not in sp2 hybridized orbital, it is in actually p orbital and it is in resonance. It can participate in delocalization because it, in, it is in p orbital. Recall the Huckel's rule. Number one rule was cyclic, number two planar, number three conjugated and every atom has p orbital. By the way, these ring this part, this is a five member ring, imidazole type, although it's not an imidazole. So this ring belongs, this ring is aromatic because of this lone pair under conjugation. So I believe you have understand. So let's go to the main topic. Now let's protonate every nitrogen. So for example, protonation on this nitrogen will result in this. Protonation will, this nitrogen will result this. This nitrogen will result this one and the fourth one. Now here, there is a concept called equivalent canonical forms. What do I mean? Now protonation is happened on this four and resulted in four protonated species. So we need to check the maximum stability containing protonated species. Because whoever is maximum stable, that will undergo protonation most efficiently. Okay, so in order to check the stability, we will search is there any conjugation possible? Yes. So here if you look at there is conjugation possible. So this lone pair can push here and it can open. So what does it look like? By the way, I know student difficult structure. That's why I suggest everyone to practice drawing such kind of question in such kind of structure in home. It is very essential. So now there will be a double bond positive charge is here. Now whatever other part they will remain as it is. Now here one thing is clear that sir in one canonical form positive charge is here. Another canonical form positive charge is here. So we, we can conclude here that the positive charge is under delocalization. What do I mean? This both nitrogen attached to one proton and this positive charge is in delocalization. So it is delocalized and we know the term that is delocalized is equal to stabilized. There is one actually exception that is anti-aromaticity where delocalization results on stabilization. Apart from that every time it is true. So it is delocalized means it is stabilized. So these here, you can see two canonical forms. This canonical form A and canonical form B, they are exactly same. So that's why they called equivalent canonical form. And in equivalent canonical form, there is a very high delocalization, which results very high stabilization. So protonation on these nitrogen is associated with maximum stability. So protonation will happen here. Okay. Now you can say, sir, such kind of canonical form also possible. You may think, by the way, look at here. Now here you can say, sir, it can donate, it can open, and it can result in such kind of canonical form. Means the positive charge on this nitrogen will be neutralized. So this is this. 
now student i want to save one statement so there is loan pair this is now here i want to make one comment comment is that look at this nitrogen lone pair is involved nitrogen is having the positive charge density but this canonical form is not possible why in this case what happened the stability or the aromaticity of benzene ring is disturbed so you can say sir okay delocalization is associated with stabilization but during this delocalization aromaticity is disturbed which is actually a huge stabilization I guess you are confused. So let me tell you again. So purpose of delocalization is stabilization and in this case of aromaticity there is already delocalization present but this delocalization will disturb that previous delocalization or stabilization. So consequently the overall stability if you compare this canonical form doesn't have overall stability because look at here the stability is disturbed. This ring is not aromatic anymore. So that's why this canonical form not possible. You may expect sir here also possible this lone pair can come push and it can open. Yes I agree from that point I can say okay aromaticity disturb and second it is also not possible because this lone pair just sometime before we told that it is not in plane. It is in sp2 hybridized orbital and this is actually a p orbital p orbital overlap. So this carbon p orbital this nitrogen p orbital overlap resulted a pi bond. So overlap between this lone pair and this pi bond not at all possible. So this is also not possible. So in this way only this option left and this is student the answer. I know you will feel that sir okay at the beginning you can say this option why should we go this much complication but I believe you people should think multiple ways. Remember these entrance exams are not easy. So you need to prepare yourself in such a way that you know everything every aspect not only the right answer because who knows question could be modified in a different way. Okay, so what is the answer of today's discussion? Which one of the below mentioned nitrogen has maximum protonation tendency? Answer is th option 3. Okay, so this is the overall discussion. I believe this video may be useful. Thanks for watching and if you really consider my contents are worthy then hit a like button in the comment in the video and write your opinion in the comment box. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.